Hello and welcome to another episode of Cooking with John. I am John and welcome to my cooking show. Today we're going to be doing something that uh, I've actually never done before so we'll have to see how it turns out. I am making egg rolls out of chicken. That'll be chicken, mushroom, carrots, cabbage, bamboo shoots, a couple different sauces, salt, pepper, garlic, sriracha, onions, got some oil here to fry, uh, mixing pan, bowl, cutting board, knife, all that good jazz. And some jalapenos to add just a little bit of spice to the egg roll. I think it's gonna be delicious. So today I'll be using um, chicken that actually comes in a bag. It's 100% natural white chicken cuts, it's chicken breast. Uh, it's just a little bit easier, I think, for you guys and me to make the egg rolls for the first time. You could uh, get one chicken breast, cut that up, and add it to your bowl and your mixture and just do it that way. But like I said, I thought it'd be easier just for me to go with the packaged chicken today. So I have two of these uh, packs of chicken, along with all the, the ingredients. Of course, I also have my egg roll wraps. This is a one pound package. I believe there's, oh, I don't know, there's a lot of egg roll wraps in there. With this amount of ingredients, you'll be able to make 12 to 24 egg rolls, depending on how much you put into each individual egg roll. I've also got one egg and a little bit of water to seal up the egg rolls just a little bit later on. We're gonna start out by opening up our chicken and we're going to dump it into our mixing bowl. There's a little bit of juice in there. You're probably gonna to want to dump out. I have a feeling Aphrodite's gonna show up pretty quick here. She loves chicken and of course I've got chicken here. So I put the chicken in the bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna drain all the extra juice out of the chicken. And there you have the chicken right there. It's already pre-cooked 100%. Tastes like chicken to me. I am gonna take my fork just kind of in the beginning and I'm gonna mash up my, the chicken just a little bit, break it down from these bigger chunks just into smaller, tiny little pieces. And egg rolls, again, are one of those foods that you can pretty much put anything you want into this mixture, wrap it up and fry it. You don't have to follow my recipe exactly. If you see something I'm adding that you don't think you like, you don't have to put it in, you can substitute it for something else. So I like recipes like that where you can just kind of substitute all your own stuff together, do your own ingredients, things like that. So we're going to start out by adding a little uh, hot sriracha to our chicken. Mickey and I like spicy food, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spice it up. I've got my garlic paste here, I'm going to go ahead and add two teaspoons of garlic to the mixture. Fill that up and get it in there. Next, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of soy sauce. Uh oh, someone's here. I just got something in the mail. It's gonna be awesome. All right, I'm also gonna add just a little bit of jalapeno pepper. Um, I would say, I don't know how much this was a full pepper. I made some breakfast burritos with it, but I'm gonna chop off uh, about half of this, this much. I'm gonna chop it up real fine and drop it in there. Like I said, you know, it adds a little bit of spice and a little bit of kick to the egg rolls. And Nikki and I like that. Add our jalapeno pepper. I've also got stir fry sauce, which was just a common ingredient in a lot of different recipes that I was looking at. So I'm gonna add a tablespoon of that to my mixture. I've got a small amount of green onions that I'm also gonna chop up and throw in there. Uh, again, that was just a common reoccurring recipe and a lot of different egg roll recipes that I looked up. One thing I like to do when I make my cooking videos is I'll look up a lot of different recipes just to get a general idea of what tastes good together and what looks good in a lot of these recipes. And from there, I'll kind of just deprive my uh, own recipe. I'll pick out and match my own ingredients, the things that I like, and uh, just match the quantities that I see in a lot of different re other recipes, and I will put them in my recipe. So it's kind of a homemade recipe, and it's kind of not. I'm taking ideas from other people, but I'm also applying my own ideas and making the recipe unique to me. And I think that's kind of what a lot of people do when they make cooking recipes um, and share them with people. So I don't want to take 100% credit and say, oh, I, I completely came up with this idea. This is all mine. Everything you're seeing here is 100% John's cooking channel recipe ingredients. Because it's not, but at the same time, it kind of is. But I also 
there are people out there that know so much more about cooking. There's professor, professional chefs, people who go to culinary school, and they know a lot more about cooking than I do. So I'll look at what they're doing and then just kind of take everything and do my own thing. And usually it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Like Nikki said, I made that lemon garlic chicken that really was not that good. Uh, I thought it was going to be better, but it wasn't. So uh, we've got some of our ingredients mixed up here. The next thing I'm going to be adding uh, is eight to ten baby carrots. I'll chop those up, throw this, those in there too. I've also got some cabbage that I'm going to chop up and throw in there, some bamboo shoots, and some mushrooms. Right now, what I'm going to do is stir all this stuff up. Uh, I've got a masher here too. If I need to mash it up anymore, I will. But I'm going to stir up all the chicken and the ingredients that I added in here and I'm going to set it in the fridge for one to three hours and let it marinate in itself and let that chicken just kind of absorb all the flavors and sauces that I've added. And again, that's just kind of a reoccurring theme that I saw in all the recipes that I looked at. They said, you know, mix all your stuff together, let the chicken marinate for a little bit, it'll taste better in the end. So that is what I'm going to be doing. Let's go ahead and give this a little taste. There's nothing in here that's raw that I can't eat. Mmm, that is good. I'll tell you what, that, woohoo, ha ha, spicy. That combination of stir fry sauce and soy sauce goes really good. This week I practiced making cream cheese wontons that you saw on the vlog maybe. Uh, I made some pot stickers slash mini egg rolls. I wanted to make pot stickers but they came out as miniature egg rolls, they were pork. And now for my cooking video, I've taken all that knowledge and I'm putting it together for this egg roll. But those two are reoccurring a lot in the recipes that I've been looking at online. I'm also just going to add a little bit of white onion. Uh, pretty much just kind of like one slice of the onion. So I'll take this right here and I will dice it up and also mix that into my recipe. And then I will throw it in the fridge for at least an hour, let it marinate, and we'll take it all out. We'll add the uh, bamboo shoots, the cabbage, the carrots, the mushrooms, and then we'll go ahead and fry everything up. My onion is chopped. It's going in the bowl. Mix that in. I'm also going to add some salt and pepper. Uh, even though it has soy sauce, which is super salty, so I'm doing just a little bit of salt. And I've already got a lot of spice in there, so I'm doing just a little bit of pepper. Um, they're just really, really basic ingredients that all of us like and know and they just combine really well with a lot of other flavors, so that's why I add them into most of my recipes. Alright, so we mix this up, we got a little bit of onion in there, a little bit of crush, and that is good. That's also why I have the cabbage and the carrots. That will also give the egg rolls just a little bit of crunch, but this tastes delicious. So it's going in the fridge, and I'll see you guys in one to three hours. Okay, so I've got a bowl of bamboo shoots right here. I'm not going to use all of them. I've got a little bit of cabbage I need to chop up, as well as some carrots I'm going to chop up. And I'm going to put just a couple mushrooms in there for flavor. I think it'll taste really good. Our chicken's been sitting in the fridge for about two hours. It smells good. It looks good. Mmm. It tastes absolutely delicious. So I'm just going to do a couple mushrooms. Um, I just kind of spooned out uh, two or three spoonfuls. I'm going to go ahead and chop those up. These are chopped. Let's go ahead and put them in there. Like I said earlier, we're going to do about eight to ten baby carrots. So we're going to split them in half and then chop them up kind of into long, narrow strips of carrot. And like I said, I chopped the carrots in half once and then I'm just slicing them up into thin strips lengthwise and then I cut those thin strips in half to make nice little tiny pieces of carrot. Carrots are done. I'm gonna go ahead and actually start my oil up right now because I want it to be warm by the time I'm done wrapping up my egg rolls. Using a smaller pan today, that way I don't have to use a lot of oil and I will put just enough oil in to cover the depth of the egg rolls, which would be about an inch to an inch and a half of oil. And I'm going to start out on a higher heat just to get it going, and then I'll put it to a medium heat uh, as soon as I'm done putting the bamboo shoots and the cabbage into the mix here. A couple different types of cabbage we can be using. I'm going to be using red cabbage. Uh, just because I like it. I'm not going to be doing very much of it. It's really just a filler and to add a little bit of crunch to the egg rolls. So we're going to rinse it off. 
and then we're just going to cut it into strips. And as always guys, if you have any ideas of your own, tips, hints, tricks, uh, if you make a lot of egg rolls and you know what you're doing, go ahead and comment below in the comment section. Uh, share your information with people. This really is a community-based channel. You guys are supporting me. I'm supporting you. We're cooking together. It's a lot of fun. Um, and I've had a lot of uh, really great ideas and comments from you guys in the past videos, and I really appreciate it. So, we've got our bamboo shoots. Uh, this is 19-ounce can of bamboo shoots, and I think I'll probably use about a third of the can and we'll just kind of see how that goes. All right, so I've got everything in the bowl. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna mix it up, and then we're gonna wrap up our egg rolls and start cooking. You know what, and I think the best way to mix this stuff up is just gonna be to use my hands. And at this point, you guys probably know that I'm also making a prank video right now. I have a cat food Kenobi hair egg roll sitting off to the side here, and I'll be cooking that egg roll last because I don't want to contaminate the oil that I'm using with Kenobi hair or cat food and jeopardize the integrity of the uh, legitimate chicken egg rolls that I'm making. But let me tell you what, uh, it's going to be hilarious watching Nikki eat that egg roll too. I think I'll have a hard time convincing her to actually try the uh, real egg rolls that I'm making. Alright, so here we go with the real egg rolls. It's important when you're making egg rolls, dumplings, wontons, anything, that you keep your work surface dry because if this paper gets wet, it gets really sticky. Okay, so we'll take just a, a little bit of our egg roll mix and we will put it in side of the wrap here. You kind of want to bunch it up. Uh, you guys know how an egg roll is shaped. You kind of want to lay the inside contents in the shape that you want your egg roll to turn out. I always do diagonal so you can roll the corners over on themselves. Take a little bit of our egg wash here paint up all the sides just a nice thin layer around the edge get it nice and wet and then we take this and we go ahead and we fold the corner the outside corner over to here we take the sides and we fold it up over onto itself that's going to create a barrier take a little bit of your egg wash put it all over the place. And as you can see right here, I have a hole from a carrot sticking through. One way to fix that is take a tiny, tiny little piece of egg roll paper, get some uh, egg wash on it, patch up the hole, and you're good to go. All right. Now we take this, and we'll put a little bit more egg wash on there just to finish it up. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my first legitimate egg roll. Set that right there. Again, you want to keep your workspace dry. Just go ahead and wipe that off with a towel. And we'll do another one. All right, so put that there. Take our goodness egg roll stuffing. You can do a lot or you can do a little. You just want to make sure you're able to actually roll the egg roll onto itself cover up the inside content. Take our egg wash, make sure you get all the edges, wash them up real good. This of course will allow the paper to stick to itself. If I forgot to mention, I'm using an egg wash, one egg, a little bit of water, mix it up, beat the egg lightly, fold this up onto itself, turn it just a little bit, fold the corners in just like this. Make sure everything is airtight. And one of the things about egg rolls, dumplings, cream cheese wontons, is you want them to be airtight. You don't want the oil to get inside of the egg roll. So we'll just put a little bit more egg wash on there, roll it over on itself, and make sure we pinch the corners in nice and tight. Do the outside just a little bit. And there we go. We have another egg roll finished and ready to go. Nikki's at the store right now picking up some things for herself and Iris, so I'm just gonna do a couple egg rolls uh, to finish up so the prank is done and when she gets home they'll be ready to serve, done, cooked, and then Nikki and I will actually make some more egg rolls later for dinner. Take our egg roll stuffing, put it inside right there, go 
ahead and take our egg wash, do the complete edge of the egg roll paper, just like this. Roll it up onto itself, fold the corners in. And you know, it might be hard for you to do this at first, and you know, it's something that you definitely like, the more you do it, the more experience you have doing it, the better you will get at doing it. So, just like that, put a little more egg wash on it, roll it up over itself, and you wanna get all the air out of there. When you cook and fry these papers, if there's air inside, they'll balloon up on each other. And as you can see, even just from doing three of them, they're getting a little bit tighter, a little bit better, and you want them to be as tight as possible. Uh, and this is my first time really rolling up egg rolls. I made cream cheese wontons earlier this week. I tried to do some dumplings, as you might have saw in the vlog, but they kind of came out like miniature egg rolls and not really dumplings. So, and a good way to make sure you get it nice and tight, packed in there, is take your stuffing, the inside, whatever you're putting in there, and squish it down real good, squeeze it together. Take our egg wash, do our corners, all the sides, fold the egg roll paper up over, fold in the sides like this, fold in this side like this, and then again, take a little egg wash right here, and then roll it on over itself, try to get it as tight as possible, just like that. And we have another one of John's famous egg rolls. Okay, so I've got four egg rolls. I'm gonna do one more because I have prank egg roll over there. And we'll go ahead and fry up six egg rolls. So we take our stuffing, put it in right there just like that. Bam, 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 bam. You know, and I'm really happy with the success of the channel. Again, thank you guys. I really, really appreciate the support. You're absolutely awesome. I'll have some great recipes coming up for you. Uh, we'll be doing my mom's chicken and dumplings, my dad's chili, my dad's spaghetti, uh, biscuits and gravy, breast, breakfast burritos, all sorts of good stuff. So we fold the egg roll like this, fold it up over itself like so. Take a little egg wash right here, and then roll that bad boy right up over itself like this. Squeeze the corners, and we have another handy dandy egg roll. All right, let's fry these bad boys. All right, so first I'm gonna fry the five egg rolls. I'll do two at a time. Put them in there, nice and warm. Might even be able to fit, I'm just gonna fit two in there. Uh, the egg rolls fry pretty quick, so you want to you know, keep them in there. They'll turn it golden brown, and that means it's time to take them out. You can flip them over if you want. Make sure you're getting both sides nice and fried. Check them. But they will be in there from uh, anywhere from one minute to two minutes, but not really much longer than that. A great way to save on cleanup is to bring your paper towel and your plate to the egg roll so you don't have to worry about spilling oil everywhere. And I really, really love egg rolls, let me tell you what. So, and this is, like I said, this is a recipe that you can do whatever you want. You can customize it, you can make your own egg rolls, you can make traditional egg rolls, you can make untraditional egg rolls. So, it's a Something we might do in the future again. We could do pork, we could do chicken, we could do vegetables, we could do spring rolls. There's a lot of different things that we could do with these egg rolls. Again, dip them in, never drop them in. You don't want that hot oil to splatter. Let them cook for one to two minutes until they're golden brown. When they come out, they'll start to look like that. Smell good, taste good. I think it's gonna be uh, really just a great, great food to eat here. And I've never done this before. I've done, uh, I did pot stickers that didn't work, miniature egg rolls really, and uh, cream cheese wontons for the first time this week. It was kind of a test run leading up to my egg rolls. They'll come out, they'll be delicious. Again, bring your plate, 
over to the egg roll, Nikki's home. So we go ahead, we'll finish up the last legitimate egg roll and then we'll fry up the Kenobi hair and cat food egg roll. <laughs> Is right here. I'm doing that one last so I don't contaminate the oil. <laughs> Again, one to two minutes, fry the egg rolls and they will be done. Nice golden brown, we take it out. And here is the prank egg roll. Perfect timing, Nikki is walking in the door. And voila, we are done frying egg rolls. And this is what your final product will look like. You can plate them and serve them with sweet and sour sauce. And I think these are gonna be good. They look good and they smell even better. Well, I just pranked Nikki with the cat food egg roll, uh, or the cat food Kenobi hair egg roll. <laughs> I told her I added Kenobi hair for texture, but it was hilarious. But now I'm actually gonna try one of my legitimate egg rolls. Um, I think they're going to be really good. Got a little sweet and sour sauce here. Mmm. Mmm. That is a good combination of food, Iris. Don't worry, I got fresh uh, sweet and sour sauce. Not using the same one that Nikki did with the prank egg roll. But these are really, really, really good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Great texture. We got chicken in there, spicy, a little bit of crunch. Very, very good. Hi, Nikki. We were just talking about you. <laughs> now she says she didn't want to actually eat my legitimate egg roll. I wish you didn't have a legitimate egg roll. I don't trust. I don't know which one's legitimate and which which one isn't. Well, it's too bad because they are delicious. Oh, that was really bad, you guys. All right, so I'm gonna dip this, take a bite of it, and then give it to Nikki so she knows that I'm not actually pranking her this time. She said that the other one just tasted awful. <laughs> I can't believe I'm acting I'm like I'm still helping you with your cooking video. <laughs> Aren't I a nice partner? You're a good sport. See, look, just legitimate. I would never eat cat food or canobi hair. You can't. It tastes so bad. There's like no way that you could poker face that. Oh, you're just mmm. Well, I just brushed my teeth, so I don't know if I'm gonna get like the full flavor. Oh, give it a shot. Oh, you're dripping sweet and sour sauce on your shirt. Good, huh? It's pretty good. Yeah, and I'll make more. It's a good it. palate cleanser. <laughs> what do you think, baby? Well, they're girl? spicy. They got a little kick to them. That's what I said earlier. You said they weren't that spicy when you tried the stuffing. But uh, they're really, really, really good. Don't keep eating this. Good. I was really hungry. I was looking forward to eating your egg rolls and it wasn't a real egg roll. Well, you got a real one. So thanks for watching my cooking video, Cooking with John. Really, really appreciate you guys tuning in. Special episode, pranked Nikki halfway through it. Uh, but stay tuned for next week's episode, new videos every Friday, all sorts of crazy, awesome, good recipes. Nikki, Iris, me, tune in. Thank you. Subscribe, favorite, like, share this with your friends, and we'll see you next time.